Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Force here. It is time once again for some more StarCraft II commentary. Today will be a game between a random guy and BX backwards easy now, which I will call easy now. That's the name I'm going to go with. Easy now sounds good anyways. We are on the map Cloud Kingdoms, starting off in the right upper right-hand spawn position. We've got our red Zerg player random guy. Random guy currently is on the European ladder, rank number 11 in his master's division. He's got 50 wins and 55 losses, unfortunately, putting him below 50% at a 47.62% win ratio. Obviously, he doesn't want to keep that up for much longer as he will be dropping. So hopefully he uh, swaps that around. Again, it's a brand new season. I guess he just had a, a bad luck streak or something. And then his opponent down over here in the lower left-hand position, easy now, our blue turn player on the European ladder, currently the number seven ranked master in his division with 26 wins and 22 losses, giving him a 54.17% win ratio. Those are our two players here. Again, we are in the map Cloud Kingdom. I have done a commentary on this map before. And actually, interestingly enough, uh, it was also a TVZ. I think I've only done one commentary on this particular map, and it was a TVZ that time as well. I swear to you, it wasn't planned. It just worked out this way. Drone Scout moving out here for a random guy. A random guy does also appear to be moving down to drop his hatchery right now. So we'll be going hatch first here on Cloud Kingdom. And yes, there it goes. Dropping that hatch. Dropping dat hatch. <laughs> Drone now moving up here to get some scouting done. Uh, the Rax is only halfway finished, so he can actually do a little bit of harass there, and he will be engaging that SCV. We're getting a bit of damage down. We should be seeing an SCV pull up to help, and there we go. We'll be moving on forward to assist. You can see pulling the SCV off a building by hitting T or stop or halt, and then putting him back on production allowed him to path right through and avoid any more damage from that drone. That's exactly what you guys can do if you're ever in that situation. You want to keep building, you don't want to pull the guy off for very long, just pull him off and put him right back on. And uh, most times, I think it's like nine times, I mean, it, might, it might be even 100%, I don't know, but from what I've seen, at least nine times out of 10, when you start building again, he just pulls on over to the other side. It can't be 100% though, I have, to, I have to assume it's not 100%. It may be though, who knows? Who knows indeed. Spawning pool coming down here for a random guy. Still no extractor, so will not be going early metabolic boost at all this game. Uh, he will be pretty significantly delayed with that. That's going to mean, of course, that he will not have map control, and map control should be going to easy now. Especially since we can see that factory coming out here for easy now, and it looks like he will, of course, be going Hellions. Moving that Rax to prepare to drop that reactor on that once he does have enough Vespian. SCV Scout in the main spots the late extractor, so again, he knows that he is going to have some map control with those Hellions that he will be coming out with shortly. Uh, regular unupgraded Zerglings, really, really bad against Hellions. Even Speedlings, you have to kind of get enough numbers to pull up around all the Hellions, get us around, and uh, not lose too many numbers in the process as, uh, as well. So, yeah, map control early on will be going to easy now. And what, what you'll see a lot of times, too, and we'll have to see, I'm assuming those Hellions are going to come out of that. Sometimes you'll see double Marine, one factory for Hellions, move up to a starport for some sort of harass. You know, Marine, Hellion, Medivac drop. But that will not be happening here, as we are seeing Easy now come out with that second command center. So going for expansion nice and early. And there we go, the Hellions will be coming out of that factory very shortly as well. So what we should see those Hellions do, likely, is check the tower, see if the Lings or drones are there. And then after that, they just chill out right out front here. Stop any Lings or drones from moving down that path or down this path. And basically just deny any scouting for the Zerg player until he is confident enough to push out. Uh, speaking of uh, pushing out, look at this random guy coming out with a Roach Warren. He actually... Does appear to be moving out with some early game aggression early on. There's no reason to get a Roach Warren this early otherwise. A lot of times when you see a Roach Warren this early, it means he plans to push out. And there we go, five Roaches coming out. Random guy will be doing a bit of early game aggression. Here go those two Hellions, unfortunately not grabbing that first tower. The reason I mention that, it's good to grab the tower, because again, the point is to deny scouting. If there was a Ling right here and he just walked by, now the Ling can move up and scout. That doesn't do you any good at all. <laughs> That's what you're trying to deny, in fact. Now, with the roaches out, two more just about to complete. Uh, easy now, we'll be spotting those as he is moving on down. So, random guy pulling down to the roaches. Easy now, now knows this is coming. Let's see what he does. We have got two, four Hellions in play. They are all, all of them heading back home right now. Switching to a tech lab is easy now. We'll be coming out with a tank now with a bunker for his Marines. Plus that tank with some repair. You can actually do pretty well against those roaches. Bunker bunker definitely necessary for the marines though. Otherwise they get taken out pretty quickly. And the tank again does very very well against the roaches. Even unseaged. But a repair will be necessary if he is within range. 
Looks like we will be seeing a counterattack though, as the Roaches pull onto the front of Easy Now's main base. Hellions moving into the natural expansion here for Random Guy to do a bit of a counterattack. Down to three Marines, one of them has gone dropped. The tank taking a bit of damage. Hellions moving into the back resource line. We'll be roasting a ton of these drones here. Queens plus a Roach trying to pull down to engage them. Tank gets taken out as we saw no repair from Easy Now. Looks like he was distracted over here with those Hellions. Still roasting more workers. Now up to 10, 11 workers killed. The Hellions get taken out. Three Roaches still left and Easy Now has to repair this. I don't know why he didn't get a bunker. I think he must have been too distracted by that Hellion harass. And that's actually quite unfortunate to see. Also keep in mind here, Easy Now does have a third and now complete with an Orbital Command coming out. And again, these Roaches very, very strong without this bunker here for those Marines. You gotta be very careful. He is going to drop this reactor. Easy Now unable to prevent that. Roach is in his main. Now the tank should be able to take him out. There we go. Last of the Roaches will get taken out, but a bit of damage done over here as well. So we did see that Hellion counterattack, and that managed to do a bit of damage. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed. That was just a little sloppy there for Easy Now. He could have easily repaired that first tank and taken much, much less damage from those Roaches. That, in conjunction with this Hellion counterattack, could have been really effective, but I'm assuming he was just 100% focused over here and not paying attention to his front wall. He kind of just had that on auto attack, basically. Just had the guys chilling out here and doing a bit of whatever. Two more racks coming out here, one with a tech lab, both with tech labs, and this one's coming up with a reactor, so double tech lab here with that reactor. I'm assuming we'll see double upgrades out of those. Stimpak combat shield could very well be the case. Random guy moving into a third. Now again, we do have this third here for easy now. He's gonna saturate his main and his natural before we see him pull down with that, uh, but he's actually gonna get pretty close. He could probably pull out half these SCVs down and move them over here to this expansion and then pull on over once he's comfortable to this third. It's going to be a very, very good economic situation for Easy Now once he gets that up and running as well. Macro Hatch coming over here for Random Guy. Let's see this transition. Metabolic Boost is finished. He's just about to pop out with a layer as well. And this third now finished. We'll, we'll be seeing a transfer of drones. We have a Baneliness coming out. Spieling Baneling will be the early, uh, early composition here for Random Guy. Expect him to shy away from those roaches at this point, unless he is intending on going like Roach and Fester. That is a composition that can certainly be effective when used properly. Pulling out with those speedlings, we'll be getting some uh, vision here of the center of the map, grabbing both towers, also doing some scouting here with these lings. Pulling on forward, he's going to probably be testing that tank line very soon, as that ling is dangerously close to the siege range there of easy now and I think he's just out of the vision yeah that's the problem he does he has the range right here he just doesn't have that vision so we can't fire if that ling were to pass amongst that and there it is finally ling pulls forward spots the tank line so this tells him two things one siege tanks with siege tech are in play and two how far can I push in before my lings start getting obliterated easy now very very fortified over here and that also leads me to believe that it's gonna be a little while longer until we see this expansion get dropped Centrifugal Hook's coming out here for those Banelings. Scan goes down, spots the Baneling Nest, and I think he might have grabbed that Spire too in that vision. Yes, he did. He saw that building Spire, so he does know that that is coming through as well. So Spieling Baneling Muta is what we are seeing, and Spieling Baneling Muta is what Easy Now can expect. One Ling over here will be scouting that Easy Now is planning and dropping this expansion. Now, this is going to be quite a vulnerable position for a while, uh, so Random Guy could actually effectively harass this. Because basically what's going to happen is he's now will be forced to move his tank line and some marines to... He's spreading himself out, as you can see here. Forced to pull over some tanks and marines over here, and then he's got this position as well. So splitting up your forces is basically what you can... You can utilize the fact that your opponent splits up their forces to try to harass the weaker or uh, more vulnerable position. And that could very well be the case and might what might be what we are going to see Random Guy do, especially once those mutas come into play. I mean, he can quite easily hit over here with some mutas and do a bit of damage. Uh, only a couple Marines defending. And we will actually see that bunker as uh, some sort of defense against that. We'd like to see, at the very least, one turret somewhere over here, either in this back position or right over here. That would be great. <laughs> bunker with Marines will be very effective as well, but still. Fourth base coming over here for a random guy. Macro hatch is complete, taking advantage of that extra larva. Two evolution chambers is up, however, are up. However, no upgrades. There we go. Finally starting those upgrades. One one coming on through. Also the level one flyer attack being researched. Random guy now moving out with those mutilists. He does have 13 in play with three more coming out, so we'll be sitting on 16 here. Speedlings continue to make their way across the map. Random guy being very active, just all over the place, spreading that creep and about to push over here as well. He's got a free tank kill right here, pulling in. 
See you later, Siege Tank. Very, very nice random guy. Again, taking advantage of those vul vulnerable positions when your opponent spreads himself out. That, that is what it is all about. And Random Guy will be trying to use these to kind of weaken up the numbers of Easy Now and delay that push. Eventually, we'll see a big, big Marine Tank push. And just trying to delay that right now. We have a Ghost, Ghost Academy coming on through, preparing for the later game. Ghost very good against Infestors, against Ultras, and against Brew Lords. Especially very, very effective against Brew Lords. However, as we can see, Random Guy not preparing that transition anytime soon. He is still just on layer tech. He's quite happy with getting the upgrades for those Spealing, Banelings, and Mutas. Also, the Burrow research coming out. Burrow Banelings, very, very effective. Something we're seeing a lot more of nowadays and something I absolutely, absolutely love. Not that I'm just rooting for the Zerg player, but it's just so satisfying to watch Banelings destroy a group of Marines. I'm just saying. <laughs> Muta's trying to pull forward. A uh, big group of Marines over here, plus the Marines in the bunker. Enough of a deterrent. Also, nice two turrets right over here for easy now. Quite easy to say, though. Map control right now. Going to random guy. If you take a look at the vision, he is just all over the place. We're not seeing any counterattacks, any draw press, or anything like that for easy now. I'll try to keep a close eye on the minimap. If he does move out with something, I would like to see something. He actually doesn't even have any medevacs in play, perplexingly enough. That would be a great idea, honestly. <laughs> you should get some medevacs, Easy Now. I, I'm not sure why he's not, at the very least, trying to get some medevacs. If he gives complete map control and allows Random Guy to just mass expand, that is going to be an issue. You have got to harass at least somewhat. Otherwise, what's going to happen is Random Guy's, oh, well, first of all, engaging, pulling on forward, and shredding through some Marines. The rest of stimmed up Marines force him back. This is the problem, though. Without any medevacs, these Marines are going to stay permanently injured. So we do finally have two coming out. It's going to assist with that. I am just a little surprised that he waited this long to get those. What I was saying, though, is if you let the Zerg player just macro up, you will run into an issue. It is very, very crucial that you harass your Zerg opponent. It's just absolutely necessary. There's not much more to say other than that. Just dropping a group of Marines here in back of a natural expansion, you can imagine how much a stimmed up Marine drop would do. That would tear through those drones. Do a bit of damage to that hatchery as well before any reinforcements came. Muta's trying to pull forward, walk into some more marines, also a couple turrets. That's going to force them back. I don't know why those marines were there all by themselves. That's a bad idea. Make sure you go out in groups of two. <laughs> and make sure you go out with your buddy. That's all I'm saying. Speedling's now right out front of the natural expansion here for easy now. And you can see again spreading himself thin. Make it a problem if random guy pushed in. So he's got to be very, very, very careful in terms of uh, making sure he's got enough defense in all positions. Sensor tower going to help him a lot to see when and if a push is coming on up. Muta, Speedling, Baneling, and that is it. 2-2 two, two upgrades coming through. Zerg Flyer, Carp is actually getting research right now. Hive Tech finally also starting here as well. Random guy with full map control just expanding like crazy. And this is what happens if the Terran player does not harass. But again, what I'm assuming Easy Now is doing is just working his way up to this big death army and preparing to push out with that. Uh, but I think being so, so passive all game, I mean, he hasn't even checked over here. This is the concern right now. Easy Now has not even checked any of these expansions at all. And that is a major concern. Mutas will be pulling down to harass over here. He needs to be careful from those Thors, although they are spread out. He could have magic boxed. But he's also worried about those stimmed up marines shredding through those mutas as a result. Speelings and Banelings pulling forward. He's going to try to delay its expansion as much as possible. A couple Lings going over here trying to force a lift off. The rest of the army pulling up there, taking the brunt of the damage. And he's going to do a bit of damage over here while this is happening. Speelings also pulling in. Banelings there just waiting for a target there. Oh, ho, ho, almost walking into those marines. We've done a lot of damage. Splash damage from the tanks prevented that though. Continue to do some damage over here. This expansion, Stimmed Up Marines will force him back. Some more Spielings forcing the repair over here for Easy Now. Easy Now still not doing anything. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Goodbye, four overlords. I guess those were extras, though, as he's still uh, at 200 supply in terms of his uh, maximum availability. Random Guy doing a lot of damage there. Taking a quick look at the income here. You can see Random Guy quite far ahead again. He's got that crazy map control right now. Taking a look at the resources lost. Random Guy is also behind. But he's killed more workers, and he's got that income. So I don't think it matters. Right now, I'm very confident in Random Guy's position. The only concern is going to happen when Easy Now does eventually push out. But Easy Now just kind of being very lackadaisical here. He's moving out with some ghost action. Now we do have nukes coming into play. Oh boy. This could, if anything, turn the tides here. Taking a look. 
first nuke getting planned over here. We're about to see another nuke over there as well. Is he moving anywhere else? No, just these two positions for now. Here comes the first nuke. It's going to hit. Goodbye, drones. Lots of drones take some damage. Nuke over here just going to be hitting the hatch. Not a lot of drones over there to kill. Kills off a ton of larvae as well. Just doing some damage now with the ghost. <laughs> That's actually a riot. I'm impressed here. Another nuke. All these... Oh my gosh, random guy. I'm embarrassed. Get ready to facepalm. Here it is. Mega face palm as the nuke lands destroys so much. I don't know how he didn't spot that I guess it sucks being red. It's gonna make it hard to see that little dot <laughs> No, that is really really rough though There for random guy as he now lands two nukes doing significant damage He's killed 31 workers so far this game Man, oh man, that was nice. That was nice indeed Any other counter here coming? No, nothing from that. We got another ghost moving out he is cloaked, He's just making his way on across. We're going to see a couple of lanes get roasted over here from that planetary. I got to keep an eye on these cloaked ghosts, man. I tell you, more and more nukes coming out. Four in production. Those all just finished. Ghost over here. Ghost over here. Overseer spots that ghost. A couple of mutas trying to pull in. That is getting taken care of, though, by those marines. Okay, we got a nuke over here. We got a nuke over here as well. Don't know why. Kill off creep tumors, I guess. This nuke's about to land. You ready? We got a counterattack coming on through as well. I gotta catch the nuke though. Nuke lands, kills off a million workers. Pulling on down here with a counterattack. We got a nuke over here, that takes care of some creep tumors. And we got a nuke over here, kills off a ton of workers. Big push though coming from these. Oh, ho, 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 major EMP. Takes out all the energy of those infestors. Infested Terrans get taken care of. He has lost his expansion, but he's taking care of all the mutas as well. He has done ridiculous amounts of damage. He even hard. killed off this expansion. 71 workers killed so far this game. That is absurd. If you have stuck through in this game so far, I know the play hasn't been the greatest, but man, those nukes were a riot. So congratulations for staying. It was well worth the wait. Wow, unbelievable. Cloak Ghost still doing some damage over here. He probably should be hitting that hatchery with this damage that he has before that cloak dissipates, but I'm not going to judge. Do what you want, man. He's now coming up with another expo. Random guy, let's take a look at his income. Still strong, still going strong. He still has that economic advantage, man. I tell you what. I tell you what. Now we have got four more nukes coming through. So once those pop out, expect to see some more nuke action. He's got about a trillion ghost. This is going to prove to be very beneficial against these ultras that are in play. We aren't seeing any brew lords. Doesn't look like he plans. Oh, he does have a greater spire, so he could go brew lord, but nothing yet. Just chilling out with those ultras. It's getting too hot. That ghost got taken care of. I'm really perplexed right now. Should be seeing spores and spine crawlers to prevent this from happening. Just put a spore here, put a spine here. Ghost pulls down, he gets poked in the face. Game over. That's all he needs to do there to defend against any more possible future nukes. But you know what? We're going to be seeing some more nukes soon. Here comes a big, big push. Get ready to see the massive snipe. EMP. Splash damage coming down. Cloaking those ghosts as well. Going to be seeing a ton of snipes. He is doing a ton of damage though. My gosh. Cloak Ghost not getting hit though because there's not enough energy to fungal growth and all the ghosts take care of all the ultras. Ultras over here doing some damage. More snipes gonna finish him off though. See you later. More and more ghosts coming out. Going ghost heavy this game. Easy now. How many does he have? 27. 27 ghosts in play. Now, he's only got this mining expansion. This one's very low. Needs to try to get this one up if at all possible. The ghost not the greatest against the Zerglings. Amazing! Why did Random Guy bring those down with no energy? He just took so many losses from those ghost snipes. My gosh, I, I, I was a mistake coming down with those infestors with that. They didn't have any energy to fungal or anything. Well, they're going to drop like two infested Terrans? Yeah, good for you guys. That's That was bad. More tanks coming out. Tank and Ghost right now is actually all Easy Now is sitting on. He's only got eight Marines, and then it's just Tank, Ghost, Tank, Ghost, and some Medivacs. He's going to continue to push here. Now again, we saw some massive damage, but easy now. Actually, okay, never mind. Random guy is still ahead economically. We're going to see a push come down. Losing some infestors, just walking them into their death again. I'm face palming here. The nukes were great, but there's been some, some very sloppy play, unfortunately. Kind of throwing away some units unnecessarily. Stuff that you don't like to see in high caliber games. And random guy just leaves the game. Oh boy. Oh boy. I can't say this is the highest caliber game that I've ever seen, but man, oh man, was watching those nukes satisfying. 
And we ended up seeing Easy now win the game over Random Guy for that very reason right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this for what it was worth. <laughs> Thanks again, guys. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning like these ghosts did. Huzzah.